Welcome to this Lubuntu screencast. And in this screencast I want to show you how you can configure your auto start and how you can add elements, applications to your auto start. So be first, be before we um, add some applications to our auto start, I show you how you can configure your auto start just by going to the menu, preferences, desktop session settings, and here you can find the automatically started applications in one list and you can easily enable or disable all the entries that are uh, that you can see here uh, just like the network manager, the SSH key agent, the print cube, applet, the update notifier and so on. But what if you want to add one application just like your favorite music player or something like this to start in the background or the uh, mail client to start in the background. You cannot add this uh, application right here in the application itself, the desktop session settings. You have to do a little trick and you have to know where to add those uh, applications. So what we will now do is just add a music player to our auto start. So I will cancel this dialog here. I will open up the file manager and there's a magic um, auto start directory basic here, basically in your mm, um, installation. There's a global one which is which uh, you can find under the directory etc xdg. There you can find the auto start uh, directory. And there's a local one under your home directory under config auto start. And as you can see here, I disabled the update notifier and therefore I have this update notifier disabled in here. So if you open it up with a text editor, you can see that um, the not show in KDE and LXD, so it's disabled in here. So the update manager does not run automatically. So if you change a global um, auto start application for example uh, and um, it is not the default settings settings uh, then it will update or create an icon here in your local um, folder. So what to do now to add my uh, music my player, my favorite one uh, what I can do is just simply open up a second file manager navigate to the folder where all my applications are stored basically use slash usr slash share slash applications uh, I have to spell it right there we have it and now I'm searching for audacious as you can see here and I just can drag or just copy and paste it in here and it what's what it now will do is just simply if I log myself out and log back in, you will see that it will automatically launch not only the desktop but also Audacious as you can see here. So this works pretty fine. don't have anything in the playlist here. As you can see here and if you want to disable Audacious again you can then just use the uh, preferences desktop session settings and you will find Audacious in here and you can disable it um, without deleting the file in your slash uh, in your dot config auto start. Uh, if you want to completely uh, remove it from the auto start you can just uh, delete the file here. So this is basi basically how you can just add something to the auto start. There's of course also more settings uh, available to auto start just like if you want to have a script auto starting what you now have to do is just simply go into the same directory again uh, the auto start directory in your home but you have to just simply create a desktop file that's pointing to your script so I will show you the audacious desktop file so that you can see how it looks like so first of all this is the file, it has some uh, basic anti-desktop entry version type application then there's a name in different languages, this is not important the important one is the icon perhaps if you want to have a stylish looking icon just like the update notifier or Audacious uh, the interesting th stuff is here in the exec um, equals uh, command here you have to enter the uh, basically the script that you want to execute just like 
I don't know, uh, scripts, fancy magic, sh, and it will then execute this script every time you will auto start. Of course, you have to delete here try exec. And if you want to this script to run in the terminal, you can just uh, set the terminal variable to true here. And yeah, could you basically delete the mime type here because it's not necessary. And uh, I can change something else. Set the name to my script or something like this. My magic script and the icon to something fancy. Let me just take a look what we have here in the icons. You can find the icons under USR share icons, and there you have different icon themes. And yeah, we'll check this uh, elementary icons. There's some app app icons. Let me choose one. Um, I think this bash looks great for a bash script. So I'm typing in here bash uh, categories. I don't need this. And just simply save it as if, I w if you want to keep the audacious 2 as auto start save it as uh, magic desktop file click OK and you can see now the magic script in here in the auto start folder and it will simply execute my magic script then so this works also pretty fine and then you can see in the you have to reload the desktop settings, session settings, and then you will see also the magic script, and you can disable or enable the magic script. So, this is basically how you can add auto start items to your LXDE or Lubuntu auto start. I hope you enjoyed this screencast, and thanks for watching.